Welcome back to Zuko Builds. This week I have four tips and tricks that are gonna help you pretty much every day in your shop. One of them is turning this clamp into a big old boy like this one here. And the next is joining two boards on your table saw using a level. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's get right into it. All right guys, this first tip is if you need to clamp something, say it's the width of my workbench, and you don't have a clamp that's long enough. Obviously, this won't reach over there. What you'll need to do is grab two sets of clamps that'll reach the span of whatever width you need to clamp. Line up your first one with your second one, just like this. You can do it like this, so it's a little bit easier to clamp. Give that a squeeze. And these are really cheap and flimsy clamps, but you get the point. You can take two clamps to make one longer one, and this is gonna give plenty of pressure for a glue up. All right, guys, this next tip I use a lot when I'm ripping material that's one and a half inches and thicker. This is just a scrap two by four here. But a lot of the times, if you try to cut the entire thickness all in one pass, I find that it binds a lot against the blade and the fence, so I'll have to stop, drop my blade down, make another pass. So to prevent that, I just start by only cutting halfway through the material. Do that for my first pass, raise the blade all the way up so it cuts the entire thickness and make my second pass and it'll be good. You don't want your board binding against your blade and your fence and you don't want to force it through because that's when kickback happens and that makes a much more dangerous cut. So to stay safe, to keep your fingers, start with halfway through your thickness of whatever material you're using and the second pass cut all the way through. I'll go ahead and show you real time what it looks like. And you can see here, I still get a very clean cut. There's no, really no saw marks on this at all. And it passed through just like butter. I didn't feel any sort of pressure or tension building up. It slid right through. So stay safe guys. Do this two cut method instead of ripping all the way through thicker material. Stay safe, have fun, keep those fingies. You know, all that good stuff. All right guys, this next one is great if you work in your shop by yourself like I do and you're working with larger panels. It can really be a pain to try to hold one upright while you're clamping and screwing the other one on. Um, so what I like to do is just take any clamp, um, really any size would work, but I like using these 12 inch clamps here. And if you have one of those C clamps, the wooden ones where you twist to tighten, those work even better, but any clamp will do. Just take your clamp, let's see if I can do it on this side. Use the clamp as another pair of hands. And if you don't have corner clamps, which I suggest you get some, this will help you and this will save you in the long run. So as you can see, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about holding the other piece up. It kind of just holds itself up. Look at that. It's perfect. All right, guys, this next one is going to come in super handy if you don't have a joiner and you want to glue up a panel. You can see these two boards here. I'll join these edges together. You can see they are terribly aligned right now. What we're gonna use is, oops. Okay, sorry about that. What we're gonna use is a level that'll ride along our fence. This way we have a nice straight reference to use along our fence and we'll push the board through 
with the level. You wanna make sure to move it together or else this is just an extension of your fence. So these are pretty bad. I might have to do it a couple of times, but I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, I just have these two scrap pieces and you can see if I try to glue these up into a panel, you can see how terrible this seam is. This is actually really bad, so I might have to run it through with the level a couple of times, maybe three times, but remember what this looks like. We're gonna clean that up a lot. Oh, forgot to mention that to know which sides are going together, let's see. Let's do these two are pretty bad. So I'll just make an arrow saying this side on the fence, and this side we're gonna cut. Same thing, this side we're gonna cut, and this side to the fence. I'm just making arrows and little scribbles. That way I know which way to orient it. Okay, so that was just the first pass. You can see my scribble lines and my arrows. This goes to the fence, this is being cut. Let's see what it looks like after just the first pass. Now, I mean, other than the, the boards being a little cupped, you know, obviously I would send it to the planer, make sure everything's nice and flat. But you can see that seam looks a lot better. And if you wanted it to be even better, just run it through again, and the more you do it, the better it's gonna look. Just make sure you have the material to waste if you need to. But I mean, that looks pretty darn good. All right guys, there you have it. It was a quick video today, but these help me all the time, so hopefully they help you in your shop. You don't need to spend money on everything that you might need, like a joiner. Um, I still don't have a joiner, so I use the method with the level all the time, especially if I'm making like a tabletop or any sort of panel. I'll, that's my go-to method. So hopefully you find this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about these. Maybe I can make a short video on whatever um, segment or tip if you need. Let me know what you wanna see in the future. If you have any concerns or thoughts about the ones you saw today, just let me know down in the comments. As always guys, hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram at Zuko Builds. I'll have some stickers for you guys soon too. So until next week, have a good one guys. And happy holidays and a new year. I'm so awkward when I end these things. Oh my gosh, my mic. I need a wireless mic. I'm telling you. Help me, I'm poor.